Hello everyone and welcome back to another Top Korean Movies by Genre video. As always, I'm your host Ian from Ian Talk, and today's video will be on the best Korean gangster movies. This genre of Korean cinema is one of my favorites as it combines some of the best elements of Korean films such as crime, thriller, and action. Also, it's so different from the gang and crime organizations of the US and other countries and has a very unique theme to it. Today, I've compiled a list of 10 movies that I believe are the best in the genre of gangster and crime organizations. Before getting into the video, I'd like to remind you that this list is ranked based on my personal recommendations, not the ratings, and are totally biased towards my opinions. I've tried to include both older and newer films in order to keep a good balance. That being said, let's get right into today's video on Best Korean Gangster Movies. Starting off the list, the number 10 film is the 2015 released movie, Gangnam Blues. Gangnam Blues was directed by Yuha, who also directed Crazy Marriage, Once Upon a Time in High School, Howling, and A Dirty Carnival. And the film starred the likes of Lee min Kim Ne Won, and Jung Jin Young. The movie had an audience rating of 7.76 and a box office number of 2.19 million. The synopsis of Gangnam Blues is as follows. Jong Dae and Yong Gi are orphans who live a very hard life but rely on each other like brothers. One day, their home is demolished by local thugs and in order to make money, they get involved in violent political clashes. There, they are separated and three years later, Jong Dae becomes a member of a gang and Yong Gi becomes a part of a powerful criminal organization. They become entangled in a high stakes battle over land in Gangnam and fights over various spots and other issues arise. Next, the number 9 film is a movie that was released back in 2017, The Merciless. The Merciless was directed by Pyeon Song Yeon, who directed the comedic film My PS Partner or What You're Wearing and an upcoming movie titled Kingmaker. The film featured the actors Seo Kyung Gu, Im Si Wan, Kim Mi Won, Jeon Hye Jin, and Lee Kyung Young, and rated 8.14 and had a box office number of 960,000. The synopsis of The Merciless is as follows. Cheo seeks to be the number one man of a gang. Hyunsu is a fearless rookie. The two meet while in prison and form a strong bond. After getting out, the two work together to gain more power. However, the duo's true ambitions start to reveal little by little. As they start to learn new things about each other, their relationship also begins to falter. A game of trust and betrayal begins. The number 8 movie goes to the most recently released movie on this list, The Gangster, The Cop, The Devil. Directed by Yi Won Tae, who also directed The Man of Will, The Gangster, The Cop, The Devil had a cast lineup of Ma Dong Seok aka Don Lee, Kim Mu Yeol, and Kim Sung Gyu. This was probably the most badass role Don Lee played in the movie and I have a review of the movie if you would like more details, linked in the descriptions down below. The movie had a rating of 8.55 with a box office record of 3.36 million. The synopsis of the film is as follows. Chang dong Su is the boss of a massive gang, a mobster, a thug. He fears no one and everyone fears him. This powerful gangster coincidentally comes across a serial killer who attempts to kill him by stabbing him multiple times. However, this devil finds the gangster to be too strong and ultimately fails to finish the job. He flees the scene, dong Su ends up being hospitalized and miraculously survives the incident. With his blood boiling with rage and fury, he schemes to find the man who tried to murder him and get his revenge. Meanwhile, Chung tae Seok, the cop, connects the dots of the several murder cases that recently took place and learns that Tong Su also fell victim to the devil. Thus, he meets and persuades Tong Su to partner up in finding the serial killer and the pursuit of the devil begins. Moving along, the number 7 movie is the 2015 film Inside Men. Inside Men was directed by Woo Min-ho, who directed other productions such as The Spies, The Drug King, and The Man Standing Next. The film had an ensemble cast of Lee Byung-hun, Jo Sung-woo, Baek Yun-sik, Lee Kyung-young, Kim Mong-pa, and Bae Song-woo. And although this movie was an amazing film, it wasn't placed higher on the list as it didn't have as strong of a gangster element as the other movies higher on this list. Inside Men had an audience score of 9.06 and a box office record of 7.07 .07 million, the highest on this list. The synopsis of the movie is as follows. The leading presidential candidate, a chairman of a conglomerate, and a renowned editorial writer who has massive power to sway public opinion, plan a scheme to give the presidential candidate the upper hand. An Sang-gu plans a transaction to release records of the sponsored slush fund, and once he gets caught, he pays the price by getting his hand chopped off. 
Once Prosecutor Wu Jang-hun smells something fishy with the upcoming elections, he starts to dig into the background story of what went on with the candidate, chairman, and editor. However, the investigation is short-lived as the record of the sludge fund was taken by An. The man that wants revenge on the politically powerful, the one that wants to use An to reveal the sludge fund records, and the man who needs to swipe it all under the rug, who will come out on top? The number 6 movie goes to an older movie, the 2006 film, A Dirty Carnival. This movie was directed by Yu Ha, who was mentioned earlier for directing Gangnam Blues, and starred the actors Cho In Sung, Cho No Jin, Nam Gum Min, Yi Bo Young, and Jin Gu. A Dirty Carnival showed the hardships of living as a gang member and also had great action scenes. This movie had an audience score of 8.79 and recorded 1.82 million at the box office. The synopsis of A Dirty Carnival is as follows. Pyeongdu is a 29-year-old gangster from Seoul who's second ranked in his gang. Although his drive and ambition are hot, Pyeongdu finds it difficult to compete against other fellow members as all he can do is go around intimidating the locals to pay their debts. Not only this, but his family faces financial problems and he needs to take care of his sick mother and two siblings. When all seem to be going downhill, an opportunity presents itself to Pyeongdu. Mr. Huang proposes that he'll take care of Pyeongdu if he can get rid of the prosecutor that's been on his tail, and Pyeongdu accepts. Once his task is done, he feels as though everything is going great and all his problems are solved, but are they really? 5 movies down, 5 more to go. Before we get into the top 5, which Korean gangster movies do you think will take the top 5 spots? Have your favorites come out yet? Leave a comment and let me know. Then without further ado, let's get into the top 5. Starting off the top 5, the number 5 movie is the 2017 film, The Outlaws. The Outlaws was directed by Kang Yun Sung, who also directed Long Live the King and starred the likes of Ma Dong Seok, aka Don Lee, Yoon Ge Sang, Jo Jae Yoon, Choi Gui Hwa, Park Ji Wan, and Jin Sung Gyu. The chemistry between the cast members were great, and the performances by Yoon Ge Sang and Jin Sung Gyu were especially incredible. As opposed to other gangs of the movies on this list, the gangs in The Outlaws weren't fully Korean but had Chinese Korean gangs, and this is where Yoon Ge Sang and Jin Sung Gyu's execution of their roles was amazing. The audience rating of The Outlaws was 9.28, the highest on this list, and the movie had a box office number of 6.88 million. The synopsis of The Outlaws is as follows. In 2004, a vicious boss of a new crime organization, Jiang Chen, comes to Seoul from Harbin and overthrows the existing gangs. In order to catch the upcoming thug, the beastly cop Ma Seok Do, who's famous for using his fist to maintain peace in the neighborhood, and his team plan a strategy to end the reign of the recently formed gang. Moving on to the number 4 spot, the number 4 movie goes to another older film, a classic released in 2005, A Bittersweet Life. A Bittersweet Life was directed by the amazing Kim Ji-woo, who's responsible for directing other extraordinary movies such as A Tale of Two Sisters, The Good, The Bad, The Weird, I Saw the Devil, and The Age of Shadows. A Bittersweet Life starred the cast members Lee Byung-hun, Kim Young-chul, Shin Mi-na, Hwang Jung-min, and Eric, and I didn't place it further up on the list because it's a more older film, and because of this, the style does feel a little older. This isn't to say that it's a negative per se, and it's still a classic nonetheless. The audience rating was 8.83, and the box office number was 1.11 million. The synopsis of A Bittersweet Life is as follows. After dedicating his life to working for his boss, Mr. Kang, Sonu is able to attain the boss's complete trust, as well as the management of a hotel sky lounge. Mr. Kang is blunt when it comes to trust and keeping loyalty, and he has a young girlfriend that he's kept as a secret, named Hisu. Suspicious that his girlfriend is cheating on him, Mr. Kang appoints Sonu to follow Hisu, and if he finds out that she has another man, to get rid of him. After following Hisu around for 3 days, he finds her with another man, but at the last minute, lets them go. Thinking that that was the best option for everybody, he hopes everything will just go back to normal, but he couldn't be more wrong. His merciful decision has put the target on his back and launched an irreversible war with the gang. Coming in at number 3 of my list of best Korean gangster movies is the oldest film on this list, Friend. Friend was directed by Kwak Kyung Taek, who directed other good films such as Typhoon, Eye for an Eye, The Classified File, Battle of Changsari, and the sequel to Friend, Friend the Great Legacy. The movie featured the actors Yu Oh Sung, Chang Dong Gun, So Tae Wa, and Jong Un Taek, and is probably THE movie that started off this genre of Korean gangster movies of organized crime. 
This is a classic, and although it's nearly 20 years old now, it's still a great movie to watch. As mentioned, the film has a sequel titled Friend The Great Legacy, or just Friend 2, and although it isn't as good as the first, it was a watchable movie that follows up on the prequel. The audience rated Friend a score of 8.6, and the box office record wasn't available for this film as it's such an older movie. The synopsis is as follows. 1976, 13 years old, age of curiosity, chun the son of a gang leader, tong the son of a funeral director, sang the loving son of a loving family, and chung the son of smugglers. These four boys were inseparable best friends. From stealing Playboy magazines and impersonating Bruce Lee, they did everything together. 1981, 18 years old, age of aspiration, chun took care of his friends like a big brother. dong feels he's inferior to chun Sang Sangtaek is one of the smartest kids in school, and chung a jokester that knows how to make his friends laugh. The boys see a performance by a group of girls at a nearby high school, and chun Suk and sang fall for the same girl in the group. 1983, 20 years old, age of separation. chung and sang are admitted into college, and they try to locate their other two friends that they were not in contact with. They find out that dong is in jail, and that chun Suk is a druggie. 1990, 27 years old, age of sorrow. chun Suk becomes a leader of a gang, and dong betrays chun Suk and joins a rival gang. Sangtek prepares to leave for the US and Chungo gets married and runs a restaurant. As Sangtek leaves for America, he wishes to see his friends one last time, but Chunsuk and Tongsu don't show up. That's when he feels something's wrong and foresees what's to come. And now, just two movies left. Two of my favorite gangster movies. First, the number two film was a movie released in 2013, New World. Directed by Park Hun Jung, who also directed other incredible films such as The Tiger, VIP, and The Witch Part 1, The Subversion, New World isn't only one of my favorite Korean gangster movies, but also one of my favorite Korean movies in general. I've got a video going over hidden secrets and facts about the film titled Things You Didn't Know About New World, so be sure to check that out to learn some entertaining info regarding the film. Anyways, New World had amazing performances by Lee Jung Jae, Choi Min Sik, Hwang Jung Min, Park Sung Woo, and Song Ji Yo and had an audience rating of 8.93 with a box office number of 4.68 million. The synopsis of New World is as follows. The president of the major crime organization, Gold Moon, suddenly dies, leaving the next top two directors, Jung Chung and Chung Gu, as potential successors of the presidency. Seeing this as an opportunity, the police launched an operation called New World, utilizing a weapon they planted years before. Jung Chung's right-hand man, Cha Sung, is an undercover cop that's been keeping a close eye from the inside on Gold Moon for 8 years, being supervised by police chief Kang. With the baby on the way and living in fear of being exposed by Gold Moon, Cha Sung is torn between his duty and honor as a cop and the fiercely loyal organization members. And finally, the number one Korean gangster movie. The number one spot goes to the 2012 film that's a staple when it comes to organized crime movies. Nameless Gangster, Rules of Time Nameless Gangster, Rules of Time was directed by Yoon jong bin the director of Beastie Boys, Kundo, Age of the Rampant, and The Spy Gone North. This movie starred and had incredible performances by Choi Min-sik, Ha jong woo Jo Ji-nung, Ma dong Seok, Kwak Do-won, and Kim sung gyu And I had a really hard time choosing between New World and this for the number one spot, but I ultimately decided to go with Nameless Gangster as I felt that it was better at expressing the quote-unquote gangster element of the genre. The film was rated an 8.63 by the audience and had a box office number of 4.72 million. The synopsis of Nameless Gangster Rules of Time is as follows. In Busan, 1982, a corrupt customs officer, Choi Ik-hyun, is on the verge of being laid off when he finds a methamphetamine shipment. His life turns around when he partners up with the Harbor City's biggest crime organization boss, Choi Young-bae, who they eventually find out are distant relatives. With the money from drug trafficking, Hyungbae helps Lee Kyun set up a business and Lee Kyun lobbies for his partner, Hyungbae, with his unique wit and ability to make people like him. Together, they pursue to take over Busan. However, things take a turn for the worst when the partnership turns sour over dealings with the rival organization. Soon after, the government declares a war on crime and Lee Kyun decides to set up his partner and escape the law on his own. And that's it for today's video on the best Korean gangster movies. Some films that you believe should have made it on this list may not have been included, but please remember that this top 10 list was based on my personal opinions. 
Nonetheless, I'd love to hear which movies you believe are deserving of the title Best Korean Gangster Movies, as well as movies on this list that you've seen and enjoyed, so please leave a comment or join in on the discussions on the Eon Talk Telegram group linked in the descriptions. If you enjoyed this video and would like more similar content, be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to check out the other content on Best Korean Movies by Genre that I made. I'll link those in the descriptions as well. If you have requests for other genres or other types of content, please let me know by commenting down below. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.